Coming up on Eurovision this month, find out just how many of you watched this year's Italian Spectacular, when can you expect more news on 2023, and as we say ciao Torino, we take a look at the next song contest, Junior Eurovision in Yerevan in December. But first, after months of preparations, two weeks of rehearsals, and over 10 hours of live shows, our new Eurovision champions have been crowned. Ukraine's Kalush Orchestra were triumphant in Turin with their song Stefania, which becomes the first Eurovision winning song to feature rap. <laughs> Viewers across Europe got behind Ukraine in unprecedented numbers, bulldozing the scoreboard with 439 points from the tally vote alone, leaving them victorious with an overall score of 631. Kalush arrived home to a winner's welcome and have since auctioned their trophy to raise funds to help their country. But don't worry, the trophy makers will make sure they get a new one. What's up, Mum, Dad and Grandad? <laughs> Finishing in second place and winning the jury vote was the United Kingdom's Sam Ryder and his song Spaceman. <laughs> TikTok superstar delivered the UK's best result in over 20 years and adds to his country's unbeaten record of finishing in the runner-up spot more than any other nation, 16 times in total. Taking the final podium place was España's Chanel, securing Spain's best results since the mid-1990s. <laughs> Away from the main stage, artistic achievements were also recognised in Turin in the annual Marcel Besançon Awards, named after the man who created the contest in the 1950s. It's voted on by accredited press, participating composers and commentators. Sam Ryder scooped up the press award, the first time a Besançon has gone to a UK act. It's been a while since UK was in the top. Oh, honestly, fantastic to be included in something like this, even at the beginning, just to be in the room with these amazing artists I'm seeing right here. The songs this year and every year in Eurovision are incredible while Serbia's Constractor was recognised as the best artistic performance, voted for by the commentators from each participating country. What was the idea behind your artistic performance? Oh, this is a long story. <laughs> I need a compulsive action and it seems that I'm the first one washing hands in Eurovision. <laughs> Finally, Sweden's Cornelia Jacobs won the Composer Award, voted on by everyone who had written songs for this year's contest. Tell us shortly, how did you come up with this song? Oh, uh, it, it was a lot of kava uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and the three uh, very talented people. <laughs> Huge congratulations to all our winners from Torino. The boffins from the European Broadcasting Union have been number crunching since the grand final and have now revealed just how many of you watched and interacted with this year's contest. Where are you now? In total, the three shows from Turin reached a whopping 161 million viewers. Online engagement also went through the roof as well. And importantly, more young people are watching than ever before. Our hosts Italy saw their biggest Eurovision audience since they came back to the contest in 2011. An average audience of 6.6 .6 million viewers saw the grand final, with nearly 42% of those watching TV that night tuning in. In a third of countries showing Eurovision, the grand final claimed over 50% of the total TV audience. With Iceland, Norway, Sweden and Finland leading the way. This year, the United Kingdom delivered the largest audience of all, 8.9 million in total. 
the first time in 11 years, the UK has seen higher ratings than Germany, who previously claimed the ratings top spot. But we can't have everything going up, can we? Iceland's audience dipped from a record-breaking 99.9% audience share in 2021 to 96.4% this year. Clearly, Mr. Yaya Ding Dong was hosting a rival event that night. Our 12 points go to Yaya Ding Dong! Play it! Well, the final shreds of confetti have been swept away from the floor of the Pala Olimpico and delegations have returned to their home countries or maybe a sunny island somewhere for a well-deserved break. So what happens next? And when can we expect more news on Eurovision 2023? As it's the broadcaster as well as the song that wins Eurovision, discussions are now underway with the EBU's Ukrainian member, UAPBC. Since the 1950s, it's been a tradition that the winning country hosts the following year. But this isn't always possible, as was the case for the winning broadcasters in 1959, 62, 71, 73 and 1979. And there are no hard and fast rules dictating who should host in these circumstances. Once a destination has been decided on, it will be announced at a time agreed by the host broadcaster and the EBU, in conjunction, of course, with the new host city. Branding, slogans, show details and, of course, tickets then tend to follow in the six months after that, the exact timings of which differ annually, as every contest is held in unique circumstances. Of course, we'll update you as soon as we have news. So keep your eyes on Eurovision.tv and our social channels for more information. Finally this month, if you're suffering from PED, post-Eurovision depression, don't despair. There's only six months until another song contest. Junior Eurovision travels to Armenia in December, following Malena's win in Paris last year. She joined us in Turin to tell us more about this year's show, which will be held on Sunday, December the 11th at the Karen Demersian Complex in Yerevan. So I think the first one is the delicious food you can find in every corner. Good. The second one is the kindest people you will ever meet. Mm -hmm. And the third one is the magical ancient places you have to visit. So welcome to Armenia in December. Come in, come in. The 2022 Junior Eurovision will be a special one as it marks the contest's 20th anniversary. Will there be any surprise participants? Of course there will. We'll be revealing more on JuniorEurovision.tv as the event moves closer. That's all for now, but don't forget to click like and subscribe and to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok to stay entertained and up to date with all the latest Eurovision news. We'll see you soon. Makes me feel alive.